come take a ride and listen as we leave the years behind. 1949, 1951, 1953, 1954, 1955, and beyond. See the USA in your Chevrolet. America is asking you to call. Drive your Chevrolet through the USA. America's the greatest land of all. On a highway or a road along a levee. Performance is sweeter. Nothing can beat it. Life is completer in a Chevy. So make a date today to see the USA. See it in your Chevrolet. Traveling east, traveling west. Wherever you go, Chevy service is best. Southward or north, near place or far, there's a Chevrolet dealer for your Chevrolet car. See the USA in your Chevrolet. The Rockies way out west are calling you. Drive your Chevrolet through the USA, where fields of golden wheat pass and review. Whether traveling light or with a load that's heavy, performance is sweeter, nothing can beat her. Life is completer in a Chevy. So make a date today to see the USA and see it in your Chevrolet. Back in October 1954, a startlingly new and different car is announced to the low price field. Even the Chevrolet engineers who designed this car are impressed with the way it meets every conceivable driving test. Standard steering, super smooth. Front ball suspension, soaks up road shock like a sponge for remarkable riding ease. Overall stability, tremendous. Frame and body strength, Almost unbelievable. And power, power to spare. Power to pull 16 different driverless cars from a dead start. The performance venture, stock car races all over the country. A new champion with amazing ability to dig in on the curves and get away fastest on the straightaway. That's a new motoramic Chevrolet. Best thing on wheels, far as I'm concerned. Of course, I may be prejudiced. I work here on the Chevrolet assembly line. I put the finishing touches on these cars. Then they're headed straight for America's driveways. Look mighty good there, too. See, reminds me. The other day, I met an old friend. Now, Charlie, that's my friend's name. He usually never talks much about cars. But ever since he drove my new Chevrolet, oh, boy, Charlie talks just like one of our own engineers. New Turbofire V8's terrific. Can't beat that glide ride front suspension. And you know something? Charlie's 100% right. Why, right, just look at the way the new Chevrolet rides and handles. Like I say, I may be prejudiced. Get a hold of a motoramic Chevrolet and drive it yourself. At the General Motors Proving Ground near Detroit, Chevrolet engineers use all sorts and types of equipment to find out how much better is the new Chevrolet than Ford or Plymouth. Perhaps with a little daring and some willing friends, you could get roughly the same answer. But rough answers are not for engineers. Even slight inaccuracies and misconceptions bother them. For example, you hear a lot of talk about horsepower. But what really counts is road torque, twisting power at the rear wheel. And in a well-engineered car, it's the end result of a lot of things besides just horsepower. High engine torque, or twisting power. Smooth, efficient torque multiplication at the transmission. Precisely matched rear axles to take advantage of that power. Better weight distribution to get more weight distributed over the rear wheels for better traction. And a better power to weight ratio, that is, more actual power per pound of car weight. You get all these things in the new Chevrolet. And it all comes out in, well, for example, 
the power to pull every other full-sized car on the market. 16 different makes from a dead start. Not just horsepower, road power. The most effective power at the rear wheel. That's what counts. And that's what the new Chevrolet has. And the proof? Torque talk. Dynamometers measure the torque output of every engine make. A special torque wheel replaces one of the regular rear wheels to measure the actual amount of torque delivered at the road. At all speeds and under all driving conditions, the result shows up on the torque meter. In fuel consumption tests, a device called a burette measures the exact amount of gas used at different speeds. And with split-second accuracy, the electronic time-distance oscillograph measures accelerating ability, automatically printing time, distance, and speed on paper tape. Interpreting the facts and figures gathered from such impersonal test equipment, the engineers take, for them, a very positive stand. Translated, this all means the new Chevrolet can outperform Ford and Plymouth six ways to Sunday. And the proof, again. A kind of match race, but under ideal conditions and using standard performance tests recognized throughout the industry. Three cars from comparable series price-wise and all equipped with standard V8 engines and automatic transmissions. All three drivers are professional. Members of NASCAR, National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, and have no connection with any automotive company. They drew their cars by lot for the first test and will alternate thereafter. And for every test, the same instruction. Leave the transmission in normal drive. Land the accelerator to the floor. These conditions rule out driver skill as a factor. They leave everything to the cars and the engineering inside them. Are you all ready? Ready for the first test. Accelerating ability. Watch the starting flag. Getting ready for a second run in the other direction. Here's how it looks to be the leader. How it looks to follow the leader. And how it looks to bring up the rear. Now, hill climbing ability. The 7% grade is about double the average grade on any public highway. And to hit 70 some miles an hour in a few seconds takes plenty of road power. The new Chevrolet does it easily. Ready at the start line. And on the much steeper 16% grade, the difference in effective road power is even more marked.
Now take San Francisco's steepest hill. This grade was built to match it. It offers the toughest test of smooth, effective road power when you have to climb it from a standing start on the grade itself. And you heard that tire squeal? Here's where it came from. The transmission here is overgeared to compensate for an engine weak on starting torque. The result is poor traction under extreme conditions, even on dry pavement. The other car doesn't have this problem, but it doesn't get any real bite either. Now watch the new Chevrolet dig in. And even with all its extra power, the new Chevrolet uses less gas than either Ford or Plymouth at every cruising speed. Surprising, isn't it? Better gas economy at 30 miles per hour, right on up to 70 miles per hour. But it's not really surprising. Every proving ground torque measuring device shows that the new Chevrolet, at every speed from zero on up, develops more effective road power than Ford or Plymouth. And for your prospects, this means more enjoyable power. Thrilling response at the start, surer response for the past. More dependable power. The power to go wherever you want to go. And more efficient and economical power. Exactly the power you need when you need it. In every driving test, on the flat straightaway or up the steepest grade, the new Chevrolet completely outperforms Ford and Plymouth in both power and economy, in both V8 and six-cylinder performance. Talk about horsepower. Why? It's torque that really talks. In the new Chevrolet, you get all of the big, important things you want and need in a really modern automobile. Magnificent new styling, both inside and out. Wonderful new comfort in both basic body design and interior appointment. Riding and handling ease you must experience to really appreciate. And power and performance the low price feel has never known. But that's only half the story. Chevrolet's modern engineering carries every major feature at least one step further to give extra features you find on no other car in Chevrolet's price class. That means extra pleasure, extra safety, and extra convenience in your daily driving. Here's a new multi-million dollar road improvement program in the making. A city-wide network of modern expressways. Here's proof of another new road improvement development. It's the unique front ball suspension system that lets you go places you might hesitate to go with any other car. You like hunting and fishing? Go right in deep to your favorite secret haunt. This car can take those murderous wagon trails, and so can you. And you'll roll home with a new feeling of relaxed comfort. With its new ball suspension system, New inclined knee action shock absorbers and coil springs. The new Chevrolet has such front end stability, the old fashioned stabilizer bar is no longer needed. Extra features? Watch this. But hey, doesn't this wash the lubricant off the ball connections in the front suspension? Probably. Just as in normal driving, when sudden squalls flood roads and highways. But the new Chevrolet has revolutionary non-metallic bearing liners around the ball connections. That means longer, more trouble-free operation in all your driving, plus extra protection under extreme conditions. And here's more extra protection. Chevrolet's famous jumbo drum brakes. 
the largest in the field. Safe, sure stopping every time. That's important. And so is split-second warning to the driver behind you. Extra safety. And you get it only in the new Chevrolet. The stoplight switch is the safe mechanical type, completely independent of the hydraulic brake system. So, regardless of brake adjustment, the instant you touch the brake pedal, your stoplights flash on. And in the new Chevrolet, the brake pedal linkage and stoplight switch are up inside the car, away from road splash. Extra protection, extra assurance of working efficiency. And the new Chevrolet adds still another extra exclusive braking feature. The normal tendency to a front-end nose dive is automatically counteracted. A completely new feeling of comfort and assurance. And you get it only in the new Chevrolet. Now, meet Miss Darlene Dalton, a real genuine outdoor girl. As you might suspect, Miss Dalton in action is something to see. A one-sport girl? Uh-uh. Not Miss Dalton. There are sports and sports. And this one involves the new Chevrolet. Take a gander down the track. An interesting challenge to anyone's steering ability. But watch this. It seems Miss Dalton has her own way of doing things. Unconventional, perhaps, but it proves a point. Chevrolet's modern engineering gives something extra in standard steering ease. An exclusive free rolling ball race system. The smoothest standard steering there is. Here's a new way to keep warm. plus a short, short turning radius. It's easy on a motorcycle or in a new Chevrolet. With less body overhang, both front and rear, and better weight distribution, the new Chevrolet gives you the shortest turning radius in its field, plus easier front wheel control. This all adds up to effortless handling ease on the road and extra driving pleasure. And rear end stability? More Chevrolet bonus engineering. Longer, softer acting, outrigger mounted rear springs give extra rear seat riding comfort. But let's stop here and go back to the beginning of this trip. All around this car, you find extra consideration for the owner. One key for all the locks. A trunk lid counterbalanced through its full travel, both up and down rounded trunk lid corners for extra safety. The lowest trunk sill in Chevrolet's field by many inches. Easier loading and unloading. A driver-centered glove compartment, angled down so things fall in instead of out. And for coffee breaks on the road, another extra. Windshield wipers, the dependable cable type with the motor outside the passenger compartment for quieter operation and you simply turn the headlamp switch to check the back seat situation. When they're locked, rear door handles freewheel harmlessly, standard on all Chevrolet four-door models. And when they're unlocked, the most convenient rear seat exit and entry in Chevrolet's price class. Plus the extra convenience of keyless locking on all doors. And you get plenty of extra going features especially with Chevrolet's remarkable new Turbofire V8 engine, the smoothest, quietest, high-power V8 engine in the business. And it should be. The complete engine is precision mass balance after assembly in unique electronically operated machines. These machines automatically determine how much the engine is out of balance and then automatically bring it into balance. 
Only Chevrolet in the entire industry takes this extra step with such ultra-modern machines. And the result? The smoothest, quietest power from the engine with the best power-to-weight ratio in Chevrolet's field for either conventional or automatic driving. And for lowest cost automatic driving, here's the only six-cylinder engine in Chevrolet's field with extra quiet, extra efficient hydraulic valve lifters, plus an automatic downshift for flashing starts and surging passing power. Extra performance, extra quality, extra value. You get them all in the new Chevrolet. All because Chevrolet's modern engineering goes one step further. Beyond all competition and comparison, into a new dimension of power hush driving and driving thrill. New valve in head blue flame sixes that approach the flowing quiet of a V8. And Chevrolet Turbo Fire. V8 quietness beyond compare. Performance and economy beyond compare, reaching almost unbelievable heights. Behind Chevrolet's new Turbo Fire V8, in every one of its three new power teams. In the new conventional power team, Turbo Fire delivers gasoline economy never thought possible for a high horsepower V8, along with sizzling performance. Watch this. From a standing start, to 80 miles an hour in just 23 and 7 tenths seconds. How's that for acceleration? With super smooth power glide, Turbo Fire delivers equivalent performance and economy with a new smoothness and silence that's hard to believe. And teamed with Chevrolet's new touchdown overdrive, Turbo Fire delivers a double bonus of both performance and economy that will take your breath away. Out on the track, up on the wall, round and round for one hour. And the distance traveled, 101 miles. Important, not for the track but for the safest, most thrilling highway travel of your life. And its performance with the double bonus of great fuel economy. How great? Well, at highway speeds of 50 miles an hour, you can travel 24 miles on one gallon. And even when you open up to 70 miles an hour, you'll get the spectacular mileage of 19 and one half miles per gallon. But we've all been expecting great things from our new valve and head V8. So the greatest thrill may be behind Chevrolet's two new sixes. With the new Blue Flame 123 and the conventional power team for the thrift fire, there is spirited performance. Performance that is proved by outstanding acceleration in every driving situation. In city driving, there's acceleration from 10 to 35 miles an hour in just 11.8 seconds. And on the highway, you can rush from 20 miles an hour to 60 in only 19.7 seconds. That's real performance. And with this performance is penny-pinching economy under every condition. Then for the man who wants the most of both performance and economy with six cylinders, the new Blue Flame 123 with touchdown overdrive delivers it. One gallon of gasoline will now carry him farther than ever before. How far? Well, let's see. At 30 miles an hour, we can travel five miles, 10, 15, 20, up to 28 miles on that single gallon of fuel. And with performance that approaches that of turbo fire. But the biggest surprise of all will be experienced by those who desire completely automatic driving in an economical sense. With the new Blue Flame 136 and super smooth power glide, they will enjoy outstanding performance, economy and luxurious quietness of operation. Economy that is within one mile per gallon of the new six with conventional transmission and performance that will make them think they are driving turbo fire. 
Here is just one proof of that performance. Up a half mile long, steep 7% grade in just 45 seconds. That's the new Blue Flame 136 and Power Glide. Yes, in Chevrolet's V8 or 6s, turbo fire or new Blue Flame, there's performance beyond compare. No wonder they're proud of this car and its record. And no wonder they wonder what new record the new 1956 Chevrolet will set. That's the best kept secret of the year. Keeping it secret until Friday, November 4th, is the job of the men and women in scores of Chevrolet plants across the nation. Security checks are tightened. And as the 56 Chevrolet begins the journey to your dealer, it's security all the way, under canvas covers and behind sealed boxcar doors. In city after city, as dealers get the news that the 56 Chevrolet arrives soon, they too get ready to guard the secret until Friday, November 4th. Chevrolet for 56 is on its way to you right now. Its new beauty, new power, and new performance are secrets worth waiting to learn. But what's this? Actually, a 1956 Chevrolet. Carefully camouflaged because the climactic performance test comes many weeks before announcement day. And the test itself, a certified high-speed run up rugged old Pikes Peak, America's most famous mountain. The car pulls into the waiting point a few hundred feet below the start line. And just before the attempt to smash all previous records, Chevrolet people gather for a last quick check with the driver. A great deal depends on his confidence in the car. Plenty of confidence reflected here. The start line is at the 9,000 foot level. Climbing officials from NASCAR, National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, get their electric eye timing device ready for the running start. The approach flag, and he's off. The sizzling official start is flashed through the electronic timers up at the finish line, 14,110 feet above sea level. It's a long way to that craggy peak in the distance. 12 twisting, climbing, tortuous miles under the most extreme high-speed driving conditions. This is also a supreme test for road ability. Safe, sure ride control all the time. Smooth, effortless steering response. Top performance all the way. But what about that record? The electronic timer holds the answer. And it's astounding. 12 and a half miles to the top of Pikes Peak in only 17 minutes. Flashing the old record by more than two minutes. You may never want to race to the top of Pikes Peak, but you do want dependable power and superior handling ease. The thrilling response of the car engineered to perform superbly under every driving condition. And whether your engine is the new Blue Flame 6, with its exciting new 140 horsepower and 8 to 1 compression ratio, the high-performance Turbofire V8, now up to 170 horsepower, or the peak-powered new Super Turbofire V8, with its new 205 horsepower and increased compression ratio, you'll get a thousand new thrills behind the wheel of the new Chevrolet. This is the outfit, a rolling caravan that tours the highways and byways of America bringing a thrill-packed show to hundreds of thousands of spectators all over the country throughout the year. Day after day, night after night, the equipment is unloaded for the grueling series of breathtaking routines that a talented group of daring drivers perform with the same fleet of regular production model cars. Yes, this is the outfit, and this is the slogan they swear and live by. I drove all three. Comparison proves it's Chevrolet for me. And here's a man who should know. I'm Joey Chitwood. I'm the boss of this outfit, so be my guest. Join the crowd that's come to take in the exciting thrill-a-minute show that my boys and I put on. Popcorn, peanuts, and red hot for the customer, and a real hot car for the driver. Chevrolet is the only one we use, not a souped-up reinforced model but the same Chevrolet you'll find on any showroom floor. 
The hundreds of thousands of people who catch our show in a season see with their own eyes that the cars they can buy are the same ones we drive. And I'm giving it to you straight. My boys and I give hundreds of performances, day and night, with this same fleet of Chevrolets. And when you see the pounding we give them in these highlights from various shows, you get an idea of why the car we use has to be able to take it. And now, here's our announcer getting the show underway. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in behalf of Joey Chitwood and his world champion, Auto Thrill Show. And now, moving along with the individual introduction of each of the Daredevil stars driving brand new 1956 Chevrolet cars. Directly That's how we take our bows. Just the drivers, mind you, not the Chevrolets. We can spin on a dime and give you a nickel change. Believe me, it takes more than hard braking and an expert at the wheel to do that. It takes a combination of balanced weight distribution, plus the way Chevrolet's front-end suspension is built into the chassis. There's the combination that makes for sure-footed, anti-dive braking control. Safer, easier, all-around handling with a car that'll stop heads up. Yes, safer by a long shot, even in a full reverse spin which we wouldn't wish on anybody driving on highways. But if it happens in an extreme emergency, Chevrolet's combination of outrigger rear springs and body balance are protection against a rollover. I don't expect you'll ever run into any road hazards like these, but here's another example of Chevrolet's ability to meet and beat an emergency. It's like balancing an egg on a toothpick. It takes more than driver juggling to do it. Balanced frame construction is what lets us ride this two-wheel tightrope. Oops. Think we'll make it? Well, take a look at the rugged steel backbone in that chassis. A rigid box girder frame with no excess weight and with a road holding low center of gravity makes it a cinch for us to come off these runs right side up. Just in case you're wondering what would happen if my boy didn't make it, I rigged this little stunt. Up and over. And these especially braced old jalopies we use in our shows really take a pounding. But it wouldn't prove a thing unless we put one of our regular cars in our fleet through this exact same routine. And this will really give you an idea of how rugged Chevrolet is. Because we run them brand new in this rollover demonstration. And this 1956 Chevrolet has no special reinforcement whatsoever. Here we go. Hold it. This is too good to miss. So let's start at the beginning again and run it real slow so you can see for yourself the full wallop this car takes on the rollover. As tough as any proven ground test a car can be put through. Durability. Brother, that solid, sturdy, double-wall steel construction really gives durability to Chevrolet. Because here we are, heads up and running. A car that can do that means the world to you in your everyday driving. And talking about everyday driving, I'm sure you won't get tied up in many situations like this. But to be freewheeling in tight spots where every inch counts is something we just don't take for granted. We've got to be sure of split-second response with every turn of the steering wheel. And no matter how or where you drive, when threading through traffic, cornering, taking the wide turns or the sharp turns on the highways, steering control is the key to easy, fatigue-free handling. You'll want that split-second response, and you'll get it from the same place we get it from Chevrolet's ball race steering gear. It cuts friction and drag down to practically nothing. Besides, these outrigger rear springs mounted outside the frame members reduce sway and body roll on the sharpest of turns, producing sure fire control every foot of the way. Routines like this could be a tough, nerve-wracking grind, but behind the wheel of a Chevrolet, they're just the smooth, easy handling pleasure that pops in our books and can be the same for any driver who chooses Chevrolet. Now, no matter how good roads are these days, your car still takes plenty of bumps and jolts. 
but they're nothing compared to this ramp jump I'm going to show you for demonstration purposes. No sway, no swerve. Perfect balance and a perfect landing. It's a jarring test of the springs, chassis, and frame, and the pounding we give these same cars day after day proves beyond all doubt that they're built to take it under the roughest driving conditions. Of course, no one drives on such roads all the time, but the times that you do, it's good to know that the Chevrolet you drive can take this kind of punishment. I'm sure you won't be doing this kind of high flying, and no man would, even in this business, if he wasn't absolutely sold on the car he used. It takes power, the solid, dependable V8 power you've got at the tip of your toe when you press down on a Chevrolet accelerator. In case you missed some of that, we'll try it again. This is something we can do only on film, but it'll show you how steady Chevrolet is, even flying high like this. And in this demonstration, you'll see 1956 Chevrolet durability put to the acid test. A car has to have everything to do this to survive, especially durability. And considering that this same car was used for the rollover stunt, it's really rugged. Here's another chance to see what I mean. With Chevrolet, I know I can drive away under my own power every time. And I've got to know if I'm going to put on another show tomorrow. You can take my word, we live to drive, and drive to live. And Chevrolet is the car we trust our lives to. Day in, day out, night after night, we show off our driving skills with this package of driving thrills. But more than that, we prove every day that the extra margin of safety every family wants in a family car is built into a Chevrolet. Yes, this is the outfit, and here is the slogan they swear and live by. I drove all three. Comparison proves it's Chevrolet for me. It's a cinch this fellow knows, and you'll know too, once you get behind the wheel of a Chevrolet. This is the engineering center. Here we've just had a complete teardown of a Ford and a Chevrolet. These are Ford parts, ready for comparison with the similar parts of a Chevrolet. Here they are, the Chevrolet parts. And our comparison is to cover all categories. Economy, comfort and convenience, performance, and safety. Let's begin with safety. A big factor in safety is a driver's ability to see. The total of Chevrolet's glass area is this much bigger than a Ford's, 166 square inches. And remember, Ford's glass shortage is not confined to any one spot as we show here, but is distributed throughout all areas. Quite a difference, eh? Another safety factor. How does the steering equipment of the two cars compare as far as quick responsiveness is concerned? Well, Ford uses a steering gear of the worm and roller type. These parts rubbing together fight each other, create extra friction. Chevrolet reduces friction to an absolute minimum with a modern steering gear that turns on these easy rolling ball bearings. Take this example of how friction can tighten up delay turning and how balls lessen the friction, make turning smoother, quicker. Quick response means safety. And while we're on the matter of safety, you've heard a good deal about padding and seat belts. Padding is great, fine, but only a barrier can give real protection. And Chevrolet offers a big extra barrier called the plenum arch. Chevrolet does, Ford doesn't. Chevrolet safety is built in. Now, what about economy? Our comparison starts with body finishes. 
We know an owner can scrape the side of his car no matter how careful he is. But to repair a Ford finish is one thing, and to repair a Chevrolet is quite another. Ford has an enamel finish. A retouch job means redoing a whole section, including baking in a large oven. Chevrolet's lacquer finish can be retouched with no baking, no delay, no excessive labor cost. That's economy. Batteries make a good example of what we learned. Chevrolet's battery is warranted a full 36 months. Ford's? Only 21, which gives Chevrolet owners 15 extra months of economy. In brake linings, Ford uses rivets, and rivets jutting through make half of the lining useless. Chevrolet's brake linings are bonded, and thus Chevrolet's brake lining gives service through its entire thickness. Economy. We compared the V8 engines of the two cars for driving economy, particularly as to stroke and compression ratio. Chevrolet's 10% shorter stroke means Chevrolet pistons travel less distance up and down, and less travel, less wear. Another plus in economy for Chevrolet. Compression means power derived by squeezing then releasing something that wants to expand. Ford's top compression is 8.4 to 1. Chevrolet's is higher, 9.25 to 1. Chevrolet higher compression squeezes tighter, gets greater power from the same amount of gas. Chevrolet is designed to use less oil, too. Every time a Ford V8 owner changes oil, he buys five quarts. A Chevrolet V8 owner needs only four. The one extra quart involves considerable extra expenditure on the part of the Ford owner during the life of his car. What about gas mileage? In a supervised test, a Ford and a Chevrolet were put on a track, driven at the same rate of speed until each used up the precisely measured gallon of gas in its sealed tank. Here is the Ford finishing, while the Chevrolet continues on to record a full 30% better gas mileage than Ford, up to 80 extra miles per tank full for Chevrolet V8 owners. And drivers of a Chevrolet 6 have a comparable advantage. Our comparison went into comfort and convenience, too, starting with seating comfort. Here is the rear seat of Ford's most expensive series. No foam rubber. Chevrolet Bel Air rear seats have foam rubber cushions as standard equipment. No extra cost, just extra comfort. Further, Ford's rear seat has 2 and 7 tenths inches less hip room than a Chevrolet. Two people can sit comfortably, but a third makes a difference. Here is Chevrolet's rear seat. Now let's use Chevrolet's extra space, extra convenience and comfort. Convenience and inconvenience even in deck lids. Here's Chevrolet's, a deck lid that's truly counterbalanced. Now, Ford's. <laughs> well, it doesn't always do that. Rear seat passengers enter even the most expensive Ford in darkness. Chevrolet Bel Air riders have the convenience of automatic light from the instant any door is opened. A comparison of the ventilating systems of the two cars is very interesting, too. Ford riders breathe air that enters their car here. There is no other vent save this one directly in the exhaust gas area. Air for people riding in the Chevrolet enters here, up out of the gas area. Air taken into a Chevrolet is cleaner. We've left the comparison of performance until last. We started knowing Ford's six-cylinder engine is rated at 137 horsepower. 
Chevrolet's at 140. Ford's top V8 has 202 horsepower. Chevrolet's has 205. The first test rated the distance traveled to attain speeds for passing in critical highway situations from 60 to 75 miles per hour. Ford reaches 60, then 75, with a time lapse of seven and two tenths seconds. Now Chevrolet. Chevrolet reaches 60, goes on to 75, in only six and three tenths seconds. Thus, Chevrolet's power bonus for passing, at least 100 feet less than Ford on the dangerous side of the highway. Another power comparison, the ability to climb hills. The test started with both cars even, both traveling at the same speed, 20 miles per hour. At a given signal, both drivers stepped on the gas. Hill climbing power. No question about which car holds the Pikes Peak record, nor why. Chevrolet power. Finally, a comparison of top speed. Not for highway travel, but for automotive engineering proof. Chevrolet and Ford at 50 miles per hour. And Chevrolet at 50 uses only 9.05% of its available horsepower. Now watch that Chevrolet reserve power go to work. The final proof of superior power in Chevrolet. The 1957 Chevrolet. There's fresh new design plus new fuel injection engines that deliver up to 283 horsepower. Number one in the USA, the 1957 Chevrolet. Folks, meet Gwendolyn. And don't laugh. She's a little bit beyond her prime now. Her figure isn't what it used to be. She's bulging a little at the seams. But there was a time, and it wasn't so long ago either, when she was the snappiest thing on the road. And you'd have been proud to be sitting up there behind that racy dashboard. Yes, sir, 40 years is apt to make quite a change in any one of us. But seriously, what do you think the biggest change has been in cars in 40 years? Style? Appearance? Power. Yes, but some of the most important changes have come in something else. Safety. Every year, more and more safety has been built into the cars we drive. And many of the driving risks we once considered unavoidable are now almost completely eliminated. Take the obvious features that increase safety by lessening driver fatigue. Easier stopping through improved brakes, both standard and power operated. Easier handling because of ball bearing and power steering. High level ventilation. Automatic signals for stopping and turning. Automatic windshield washers, electric wipers, plus the improved vision of the windshield itself. Remember what the windshield was like just 20 years ago? Remember the strip down the middle, the blind spot in the corner? By 1949, the glass has started to curve. The area is widening. By 1953, the center divider strip has disappeared. By 1955, the corner post has begun to tip backwards to eliminate the blind spot. And today, almost 1,100 square inches of glass. Safety plate glass. But there are other safety advances that are even more important. Safety features that are engineered into the very heart of a car. Built-in safety. In any driving situation, there are three things we can do. We can stop, we can steer around, or we can accelerate past the obstacle. The decision rests with us. The ability to do it rests with the car. Let's see first what's been done to cars in regard to stopping power. Four-wheel self-energizing hydraulic brakes which means that the forward momentum of the car actually helps apply braking action. 
plus rivetless bonded brake linings, 11-inch brake drums, and the modern anti-dive suspension system that brings the car to a smooth stop like this, instead of like this. But suppose stopping is impractical and we have to steer around the obstacle ahead. How well that car steers depends for one thing on how well balanced it is. And what does an upside down bottle have to do with a car's balance? Plenty, watch. Didn't take much to knock it over, did it? But now look, we'll put it in this position. Same force exactly, but the bottle remains standing. Because its weight is concentrated down low, it has a lower center of gravity, a principle that applies equally to automobiles. And the steady effort of manufacturers to build cars closer and closer to the ground has not been for appearance's sake alone, but for safety, to lower the center of gravity. The result is that today's car can do things that would have stood Gwendolyn on her ear. But there's another factor in the balance of a car that means safety. It's called weight distribution. Pretend this box is an automobile. It is perfectly balanced because its weight is evenly distributed front and back. But suppose we put too much weight in the back. The weighted rear end swings out on the turn. Now, too much weight in the front end. Trouble again. The heavy front end tends to keep going straight. So let's put that weight right where it belongs, just a little behind dead center. A smooth, easy turn, because now it's correctly balanced. By the same principle, a modern car's weight is balanced just a little behind center. Balance. That means safety in steering. And here's something else. Remember what used to happen when you accidentally let your front wheel drift off the edge of the concrete? You were all over the road. But today, a world of difference due to modern wide tread low pressure tires, plus spherical joint front suspension that takes the turns and resists the roll. Plus, outrigger rear suspension with springs set wide apart to provide even more stability. Add to all this a kind of steering that is based on the principle that the most effortless motion we know is that of a rolling ball. Put that principle to work to create ball bearing steering and you have another safety item where your security depends on your steering. Our third alternative for meeting a driving situation is in accelerating. Under the hood of today's car is a tremendous reserve of power to meet just such situations as this. Power you may never actually need, but which is mighty good to have in case you ever do. Getting power to the rear wheel efficiently and effectively is another factor in acceleration. Remember how it used to be? If one wheel spun, the other one wouldn't turn. Today, that's changed. With a new safety feature now available, positive traction. When one wheel loses traction, power is instantly shifted over to the other wheel. Positive traction. More safety through more effective use of engine power. Yes, one of the most important changes in cars over the years has been in the building into them of greater and greater safety. Increased stopping power, increased stability, improved performance all around. But with all that's been done, there's one part of the car that no amount of engineering can do anything about. The man or woman whose hands are on the wheel and whose face is in the mirror. How much safety is built into him or her? How much courtesy will he bring to the road? How much consideration? How much care? How much attention? Yes, tremendous changes have been made in that car of yours. 
changes that make it safer, more dependable, more responsive than ever before. And when as much has been done for the driver as has been done for the car, we'll all be in safer hands. How about you? How do you fit into this picture? Whether traveling light or with a load that's heavy, performance is sweeter, nothing can beat her. Life is completer in a Chevy. So make a trip today to see the USA and see it.